uh, you know, we think of waves as like, you know, traces on an oscilloscope or, or something like that, but actually a wave is a three-dimensional vortex. I realized, oh my God, if this was in 3D, this would be a vortex along an axe of rotation. I, I'm going to demonstrate to you what happens when you spin um, uh, and when, and when angular momentum is applied to a string. And, um, and this is what happened here. Uh, so if I can have lights down, let me try to get this going. Okay. So here we are. And so we just, we've got uh, little motors that are going to spin this. And here's the coherent waveform. And here with the strobe, I can stop the waveform that's actually a 3D wave. And can you, everybody see that this becomes a, 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 a 2D sine wave? And that's how we visualize it. But actually, if I show you the whole thing, then you see that it's actually a 3D vortex, right? Spinning in space. So let me show you again. Uh, I got to change the strobe frequency. There we go. And can you see how it becomes? It seems to be a sine wave, but it actually is a result of a vorticular action of, um, of a rotating system. Here's a nice uh, stable interference waveform. And uh, interestingly, when you look at the central part of these waveforms, you can see um, structures that look like Mendelbrock uh, fractal structures. And you can get much more complex one. Oh, this is a simpler one. This is a two wave. There's a three wave. I like that one particularly. There we go. Here's the, here's the uh, sine wave in, uh, in strobe stop. Can everybody see that? And then you can get, like I said, very uh, complex interference pattern. Um, that you would expect from wave dynamics. This is a stable one. There we go. Here's a pulse. Here's highly complex waveform. So they tell you, oh yeah, that's the sun, and then the, the planets go around like this in an elliptical course, and depending on uh, the interaction of all the planets, it's either elongated or more round. Or you got all the planets like this in the solar system. Well, actually, that is absolutely incorrect. The sun is moving through space, and the planets are flying around the sun generating this huge vortices as it follows the equator of the sun. <laughs> this is my string theory. 